Welcome back to World 101X, the anthropology of current world issues. In this episode, we continue our quest to document and investigate how people live life within limits. We've already discussed how precious water is in Chile and how contests between mining interests and local people play out. In this episode, we meet Dr. Kim Doraiki, an environmental anthropologist at the University of Queensland, who is interested in a new global industry that is based on a very old one, coal seam gas, gas that is trapped along coal seams. Now, humanity's love affair with fossil fuels is not over yet, with oil and gas still a mainstay in energy production. So why has coal seam gas been so controversial? Well, it's seen as a solution to our dependence on foreign oil and gas by some, whilst others deem it a destructive, non-renewable energy source. The main issues evolve around how coal seam gas wells consume lots of water and contaminate local water supplies, as well as the footprint of wells that now dot many regional areas and into towns in the United States, the United Kingdom and Australia. And conventional gas wells in Australia now number in the thousands and are connected by pipes to larger pipelines and transport corridors that take the gas to the coast for export in the form of liquid natural gas. This is how one gas well in a regional part of Queensland becomes connected to global processes of energy production and consumption. When you flick your light switch to turn on the light in your room in China, Japan, Korea, Malaysia and many other places in Asia, you may well be the end user of a product mined in the remote parts of Queensland you'll see in this episode. The industry is still growing, but it's often hard to understand the impact on those affected locally. We set out to find out more about his research on social impacts of coal seam gas, the role, place and belonging play, and how people relate to a place through their sensory organs. To do this, we joined him in his field site about three hours west of Brisbane in and around Chinchilla in the Darling Downs region. 